Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about the advantages and disadvantages of the CFD versus experimental approach and analytical approach. And first of all, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. And if this video was helpful, don't forget to like this video. Okay, there are three uh, methods for solving the problems. The first one is analytical approach. Uh, which is so limited uh, uh, approach, uh, I mean, because of the equations uh, are most of them uh, non-linear equations, so we cannot use this approach to solve them, and we can use uh, this approach in some uh, limited cases and some specific cases. The second one is experimental approach, which has its own uh, advantages and disadvantages. And I'm not going to discuss this approach in this video and maybe in future videos. And the third one uh, is computational or numerical approach. Uh, this, vid uh, this video is about this, uh, the third approach, uh, and I'm going to tell the advantages and disadvantages of this approach okay the advantages of cft the first one is that it works for linear and non-linear equations without limitation uh, as i told you uh, analytical approach it doesn't work for non-linear equations so because of that uh, we can use cft approach and method for solving our problem we, for the cases or equations which are non-linear the second advantage of CFD is that it can simulate the problems with the complicated geometry so uh, it, it doesn't matter to us uh, whether our geometries are simple or complicated and whatever it is, uh, the CFD can simulate it. The third one is the extraction of physical information in the whole feed. Uh, wherever we want, we can uh, extract our information like velocity field or pressure field and other fields wherever we want. The fourth one is that it is mostly cheap and fast. Uh, in experimental approach, uh, it will cost a lot to simulate some uh, problems. But in CFD, uh, it will be a bit cheap and fast. The fifth one is the possibility of analyzing problems which are not possible in experimental approach. For example, we can uh, solve our problems in the absence of gravity, which uh, we cannot use in an uh, experimental approach. The sixth one is the possibility of simulating the phenomena which are dangerous in real situation, like uh, the exploding the bomb, which are you know in experimental approach, which will be so dangerous. And of course, the fourth one uh, will be uh, I know expensive to experiment them. And let's go to disadvantages of the CFD. The first disadvantage of CFD uh, is uh, truncation error uh, and in some cases it's a bit a lot and we have to decrease this error. The second disadvantage of CFD is the demand for validation. Uh, if you are uh, simulating uh, your problem, first of all you have to validate your problem with comparing your results with the experimental results. The third disadvantage of CFD is the demand for huge computers in some complicated cases and uh, for that uh, we need some uh, huge computers. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel.